Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video, and it's a pretty interesting video. Now, a couple weeks ago, literally the week before his appearance at New York Comic Con, Jacksepticeye broke his toe. And I've always wanted to know what happened. What happened? You know, I wanted to know how the hell he did it, <laughs> you know? And I know for the fact that he had to wear Crocs while at Comic-Con because that would make him the most comfortable. So he's like, be nice. <laughs> so I always wanted to know how he broke his toe. Unfortunately, he didn't have any luck in New York whatsoever. He also got stung near the eye by a wasp on Friday on the 18th, according to him on Twitter. So he hasn't had the best luck at all this past week alone. So, I want to know how he broke his toe. So, let's find out. So, without for a duh, let's react to this video, shall we? This little piggy? Ah! I'm going to tell you the story about how I broke my toe and how it's all Hideo Kojima's fault. I was sitting at home on a beautiful Thursday night. In England, that means that it's dark, it's raining, and there's nowhere to go because everywhere's closed early. And I was sitting down, and I've been going through the Metal Gear Solid games again. Because why not? You know, I played Death Stranding all the way through again, and I played Metal Gear Solid 1, and I moved on to Metal Gear Solid 2, and I was like, man, I haven't played this in a long time. I wonder if I'll enjoy it more than I did the first time. Huh. Spoiler, I did. But I got to the end of that game, and I decided, you know what, I can't skip the credits. So I'm just going to let them play, let them do their thing, and wait for that to be over. Give the people the credit they deserved for making that masterpiece. And then I got up to go get a drink, and uh, lying in wait, in ambush, hiding like Snake himself camouflaged in Metal Gear Solid <laughs> 3, was the leg of my couch. Now we have a couch at home that is elevated off the ground a little bit, and it's got these motherfucker legs on them, like oh. little metal guys oh, those that are things. just at a right angle. That's it. That's the whole leg holding up that corner of the couch. And that's I decided to go by. I've smacked my toe on this a couple of times before, and I've gone. Ooh, Ow! Ow! I know what that's this like. Time, you no weren't so lucky. Metal Gear Solid Two music playing in the background. Evelyn sitting on the couch. <laughs> BB lying down next to her. I walked around the corner. Smack! Ow! Crunch. It's all over. Man down. As the unit hits the floor. The fucking you should have seen the move I did. The like, game over. I hit hey! And it's my baby toe. It's just my baby toe. The that pinky hit toe. Part of the couch, like right on the corner, and my toe like went off to the side, and I heard a crack, like a pop. It didn't sound any different than just like it just sounded like. Oh god, he cracked his mouth with this. Oh. <laughs> Jesus it Christ! Like that. I heard a crack and a thump, and I was like, oh, that hurt, and I went to stand on and it. I and I thought my cracking was bad. Into it, so I did one of these. I was curled over on the ground, holding my foot, and I was just going, like a family guy meme. Oh. Oh. Ooh, and I was and like, are you alright? And I bang into things, and I joke, oh, it's broken. Oh, I'm dead. I survived, but I'm dead. And this time I was doing it, Nevelyn was like, are you okay? <laughs> she was like, it's not broken. You say that every time. And I'm like, I do say that every time, but this feels owie. And after hearing the pop, and I was like, I took my hand off my foot, and then this just massive swell of pain went through my foot. And I was like, something's wrong. Something don't feel right. So after sitting there and deliberating for a bit, because it was nighttime, so my GP was closed, so I couldn't go to them, I was like, I think I have to go to A&E, to accident and emergency. I think I have to go. I think I'm dying. So we packed up our stuff and we went to A&E. And if any of you have ever been to A&E before, anywhere in the world, it's a disaster. But going here in England is a special case because the NHS means free healthcare, which means that you get to go and you get to be seen and for certain things you don't have to pay. But that means everybody goes. And on this night, was it Thursday? Yes, it was Thursday. On a Thursday night, there was 130 people in the A&E in this tiny room. Oh and my it said God. that there was a six hour wait to be seen by anybody. So I was like, okay, I broke my toe. And they're like, okay, go wait. Here's your little wristband. And I went <laughs> and I sat around and I was like, you know what? 
let's just wait. It might be faster than we it think. It just reminds me of when like, they made me wait. Just to let you know, we've had an incident tonight. We're backed up, and it's going to be a while. And then the thing on the counter that was saying, like, how many people are left and how much time is left? It said seven hours and 40 minutes. So I went, you know what? I've learned to be a doctor and mend my own toe faster. So we check out and left the A&E. And I was like, I'll come back tomorrow. So I went to my GP the next day. I woke up and I was like, ow, it hurts. Just like that, big baby mode. And I couldn't walk on it. And my foot had turned completely blue. And I was like, that's definitely broken, isn't it? And then I went yeah. to my doctor and they looked at it and they were like, not only is it broken, it looks dislocated as well. So my toe was just like off to the side. Yeah. My other toes? All the totally fine. Perfect little piggies heading to the market. This little piggy? Ah! So I went back to A&E. It took <laughs> four and a half hours to get through all of it the second time. A bit faster. You know, a lot, at time, least. Almost. And I went in. I got an x-ray. It was broken. Clearly. I had a spiral fracture on my... What was it called? My proximal phalanx or something? Yeah. I think it's my proximal phalanx. The bone on my baby toe that's closest to the foot. Where the mainland hits. I have a spiral fracture in that, which means that it went like around and down. It didn't just oh, it's one of those kinds of fractures. Like, no, like it could, it could happen like, in your shins too. Around my bone. It's one of those and kinds of fractures. Like, we can try and pull on it and get it back into like get it straight. And I was like, there is no fucking way in hell anybody is touching this toe without any sort of like anesthesia or any sort of sedation or anything like or that. Or numbing it agent. Hurt like hell. I can't believe such a tiny bone and such a tiny toe can hurt so much. <laughs> and I was like, this sucks. It's not even a cool fracture. It's stupid. <laughs> and well, he said that there's not really any reason to do it, that it's mainly just for visual purposes, that my toe is probably going to heal fine. When it's a toe fracture, there's not much you can do about it. You just strap it to the other toe and hope for the best and let it heal. So I have like three months of bone healing to go. So I went home and I ate ice cream. <laughs> That's it. First bone that I've ever broken. I made it to 34 years old. Wow. Breaking any bones. And 30 I, you know what? It's probably years? It's hyper mobile. Like, my joints are all weird and flexible and they don't have as much stability, the ligaments and stuff, as everybody else. So I'm all hyper mobile. And I'm like, maybe that's what helped me not break a bone. Because everything just, like, deflects and bends. And it's like I made of rubber. But not this time. No, it's <laughs> my toe so hard. Not so lucky It's the first this bone time. I've ever broken. And it had to be the smallest bone yeah. in the body. <laughs> of all the bones to break. By stubbing your it damn into the couch toe. after playing Metal Gear Solid 2. It's the worst story. <laughs> it's not even cool. I didn't That's like unfortunate, stop a though. from hitting a bag of cats. I didn't save a kid from a burning building. And then I fell over and cracked my rib or something. No, I broke my baby toe after playing video games in my house on my couch by stubbing it. Ow. Oh, bonehead, bonehead. <laughs> anyway, it's all Metal Gear Solid 2 and Kojima's fault. I oh, good that. God. If I hadn't been playing the game, Butterfly Effect, I would have done something else. But yeah, I'm part of the Broken Bone Club now. I'm hardcore. People are saying <laughs> I'm some sort of hero, like a warrior, ardent battle veteran. People uh, pass me in the streets and they just give me one of these. Like, go get him, Slugger. They don't pass me in the streets because <laughs> I can't walk anymore. Which sucks! Because I have to go to fucking New York in two days. As a hey. I have to go to New York to go to Comic-Con, which I, I was really excited about. I mean, I'm still really excited about it. I think it's going to be cool. I have my own comic. It's fucking awesome. Oh, hell but yeah, you do. I was like, I can't wait to go to New York again. I love New York. I want to walk around and stuff. I can't do anything. I'm worried about going through the airport and walking on this fucking club foot of mine now. It's, it's so annoying. If I broke my foot in half... It would have been like, oh, yeah, you can't go. You have to cancel everything. But this time it's like, ah, we don't really know. Like, you can kind of walk on it. It doesn't hurt you when you're walking, right? And I'm like, not really, unless I put, like, much of my weight on it. They're like, yeah, you're probably fine. And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. But is this smart? I don't know. So any of you who see me in New York at Comic-Con this I did. weekend, just know I'm going through hell right now. I, I understand your pain. To try and get there for you. I totally understand. I'm not going to judge you. I wasn't going to judge you. I understand. It's not that bad. It could be. <laughs> anyway, that's how I broke my toe. Isn't that cool? Aren't I really cool? I think I'm really cool. <laughs> okay, so that's how he broke his pinky toe. So he 
broke his toe by, you know, banging his toe into that metal leg of his couch after he got up just to probably go to the bathroom or whatnot after he played Metal Gear Solid 2. So initially he was like, oh shit, we're going to go to the A&E. And there was like a seven hour wait because there was like an incident that happened at that, you know, that facility. So he, they decided, all right, we'll go in the morning. And then they went to the GP the next day. Obviously, Sean was in a lot of pain at this point. They got the x-ray. It turned out it was a spiral fracture on the bottom bone that's connected to the foot. Pretty much that's how he broke his toe. (laughs) It's so unfortunate. And yes, I was there to see him. And he was wearing Crocs. He was wearing Crocs. I was even worried myself, like, I don't know if he would be allowed to travel. So, yeah, he was able to go to Comic-Con. And there's a long story about how badly... Comic-Con and Bad Egg Publishing handled this whole situation. But anyways, in the end, I was able to actually meet him. And I will cherish that moment for the rest of my life. And I was able to finally make up for that butchered photo that we did on Moment House for his tour documentary two years ago. And I was able to get a proper photo with him and stuff like that. And not only that, I got my comic book that I have right here signed, not only by Jack Jacksepticeye, but also the artists and writers of the Altiverse series. So I will never forget that moment. I'll be forever grateful for it. Hell, I even told him. You probably would have seen the vlog by now. The day I met him, I was dressed up as CM Punk. But I wanted to meet him dressed up as Chase Brody, one of his, you know, characters from his little ego verse. And I told him, look, I was originally planning to meet you dress up as Chase Brody the previous day but obviously I wasn't made aware of the whole wristband and that whole situation so here I am as a pro wrestler and he goes oh that's way better <laughs> so I just found that pretty funny can I just say how so down earth he is he's such a down earth person he's such a chill dude but anyways that's officially it on this reaction about how he broke his toe Just by banging his toe into the leg of his couch. But thank goodness he's doing alright. Even though he also had to get stung near the eye by a wasp in New York. So, that didn't help either. That's officially it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of Vacation Squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make clothes at Markiplier, Jack Septiguy, even myself. I used to die for some cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, Jerry Dillon 86 signing on. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.